A report released by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees last year indicated that in December 2015, Uganda had become a home to over 100,000 refugees and asylum seekers, the highest number in the country ever recorded. Now, this made Uganda the third largest refugee hosting country in Africa after Ethiopia with over 700,000 and Kenya with over 580,000 refugees. Now, IGAD member countries have praised Uganda for the generosity and hospitality to our refugees, as we hear in this report. I wish and implore all the member states to support this committee that will spearhead and strengthen migration governance in the region. I thank you. At least over 240 million people worldwide are migrants, and the number is predicted to increase due to forces of globalization that facilitate access and exchange of information, transportation, and desire by people to improve life for self and families. Ministers responsible for migration issues in the Intergovernmental Authority on Development member countries, IGAD, are discussing regional migration under the theme Migration Policy Development. Because in the IGAD region, we, have, we experience most of these things. Labor migration is a concern for our region. Every country of the IGAD region has been sending labor migrants to the Gulf countries. So how do we deal with that as a collective? Refugee management in the region, uh, it's, it's not, we have different refugee regimes. Uganda has got some of the most uh, progressive practices where uh, reintegration is a part of refugee thinking. In other countries, we have seen very little um, integration, although that is changing. So how is it that we can, and, and we are all hosting the same people. While presenting a speech on behalf of the Prime Minister of Uganda, the Deputy Prime Minister, Chirunda Chivejinja, says Uganda has taken an extra step in developing a strategy for refugees. You see, when we were young, we are the one who started these things. We said we need our United country and a developed plan. But the inter intervening factors to never allow it. Only two plans were done. And now, when we say we set up the national vision that we want to transform our society by 2030, to, so that it ceases to be a predominantly uh, non, uh, to be a predominantly peasant society, but to a, a flourishing minority-based society. The UNHCR Special Envoy for Somalia Refugee Situation, Ambassador Mohamed Afei, hailed Uganda for outstanding hospitality to refugees and asylum seekers. Thanks to uh, AMISOM, thanks to the Somalia National Security Forces, and here because we are in Uganda, Uganda is a great contributor to security and stability of Somalia. I want to thank them. He appealed to IGAD member countries to develop an innovative approach to refugee protection that goes beyond emergency assistance to providing long-term development. The ministers have made recommendations on the technical meetings and established a sectoral ministerial committee on migration. Story compiled by Tony Senabulia for UBC News. Uh,